Think back to when you were a kid growing up and try to remember all your most embarrassing, most emotional, and personal moments. It's probably most likely that these moments weren't captured on camera and weren't shown to millions of people. But imagine if they were. Family channels are probably one of the most popular and profitable categories on YouTube right now. So many people saw the success that channels like the Ace Family had and they wanted to have the same thing. It seems pretty easy. You pick up the camera, vlog your daily life, edit some cute music over it, and wait for the views to come in. But normally it doesn't stop there. Soon these channels realized that the videos gain the most views are the ones with the dramatic thumbnails clickbaited with their kids' most personal moments. So they push and they push and they push. But at what expense? Today, we're going to be talking about one family channel that took things way too far and pretty much confirmed how messed up some of these wholesome looking family channels actually are. It's a mess, so let's get into it. So today, we're going to be talking about a YouTuber named Jordan Cheyenne. Jordan's been on YouTube for a long time now, gaining over 500,000 subscribers, making family vlog and lifestyle type of content. Now, in my opinion, Jordan's channel isn't really your typical family channel. When I think of family channels, personally, I think of like Eight Passengers or the Ingham family. It's typically content that revolves directly around their kids with overdramatic thumbnails and titles. If you've ever watched any of these channels, a lot of the time you're probably left wondering how exactly these kids are going to feel in like 5-10 years when they actually grasp the fact that millions of people have watched their every move. But Jordan's channel is kind of different from that. Normally, she tends to be the main focus of her vlogs, and her son is just kind of sprinkled in. He's not really front and center, and in my opinion, she was doing the family channel type of content pretty responsibly. But uh, that opinion changed pretty quickly. Jordan and her family got a new puppy, and it was diagnosed by a vet with Parvo. Parvo is an extremely deadly virus in dogs, especially if it's not caught soon enough and treated. Obviously, a very upsetting situation, especially for her young son, who was probably super excited to be getting this cute little puppy. Jordan posted a vlog about the puppy's diagnosis and titled it, We Are Heartbroken. The video shows her and her son in the car, and her son is very obviously upset about his dog's condition. The thing is, Jordan forgot to edit out the part where she was coaching her son on how to cry, how to act, and how to pose for the camera to get the best crying thumbnail. Please pray for her. I know she's gonna make it through. She's an amazing, beautiful little girl, and I can't wait for her to bring her home and be part of our family. So if you could pray for us, we appreciate it. I love you guys. Come here, come closer for the video. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Put your hand, put your hand right here. Come closer. Close down. Put your hand down here. Act like you're crying. Really quick. I am crying. Go like this. No, mom, I'm not just usually crying. No, I know, but go like this for the video. Go like this, put one hand up, go like this. No, go like this. Put your hand like this. But let them see your mouth. Let them see your mouth. No, mom, I'm actually crying. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me, look at me. I know, look at me, look at me. Look at the camera, look at the camera. You guys, when I say I was sick watching this, I was actually sick. I saw tons of comments under my last video telling me to look into the situation. And honestly, at first, I didn't think it was going to be this bad. Like, this is actually horrible. I always knew family channels probably weren't the best, but this is a prime example of how toxic the family community can actually be. Her son kept telling her at least three times that he was actually upset and is crying and she's trying to tell him how to pose and how to act upset better for her thumbnail. She's seriously trying to make her kid perform for the camera so she can get the best thumbnail and get the most clicks. It's sick. It's truly so sick. The fact that her poor son is obviously distraught over his new dog being sick is actually having to say to his own mom multiple times, mom, I'm actually crying. I'm actually upset. Like. I don't know what to even say besides how disturbing this is. I can't even imagine picking up a camera and recording myself after getting such devastating news about my dog. Like the last thing on her mind should be, oh, let's make my son pose for a thumbnail. Now this video was only up for a little bit, pretty much until people started commenting on the fact that she forgot to edit that clip out. She tried to just edit out the clip instead of deleting the whole video, but the comments were flooding with people calling her out, so she just ended up deleting the whole thing. 
It was a little bit too late though because people started to post a clip on Twitter and it was blowing up. Here's what people had to say. I will never understand showing your child breaking down on the internet. You're supposed to protect them. These kids who come from families who vlog everything get bullied at school all the time. Family channels shouldn't exist. Most of them have done this at some point. After getting tons of backlash online, Jordan posted a video addressing the clip titled, I am immensely disappointed in myself. Jordan said she's extremely disgusted with her actions and after rewatching the footage, her heart dropped because she can't imagine that she even did that. She said she was so emotional all day long over the puppy and she was just trying to rush to get a thumbnail done with her son so she told him to pose for a thumbnail. Then she said it was just the YouTuber in her trying to get a thumbnail that shows what the video is going to be about. You're going to, why don't you address it? This is me coming on addressing it the minute that happened. I should have never even tried to, it's just the YouTuber in me, you know, like you film a video and it's like, hey, post for the thumbnail now so we can post it. Like us having a little snapshot of what the video is going to be about. Imagine seeing your son crying over your new puppy being extremely sick and instead of the mom coming out in you and wanting to protect and comfort your son, the YouTuber comes out in you instead and you feel the need to him for your thumbnail. I think Jordan thought her video was going to be well perceived because she quickly apologized, but people were not forgiving and forgetting so soon. I mean, for the longest time, people have had suspicions that these family vloggers are not good and should not be allowed to use their kids for content. We've all seen the dramatic post thumbnails that these channels use, but we've never actually seen them take place. It's kind of like you know it's probably happening, but actually seeing it take place in real time is shocking. It's not even about the posing for a thumbnail. It's about making your kid act sad for one when he was actually sad and you should have been more concerned about that instead of your vlog. A few days later, Jordan posted yet another video titled, Eight Years Later, I'm Done, Please Watch. She quickly deleted it too, not even like five hours later, but it was just a re-upload of her Instagram story talking about her plans going forward. She said she's done showing her kid on her channel and she's planning on making some major changes. Uh, but for those who didn't watch that or didn't watch my YouTube video, I am absolutely genuinely horrified and disgusted with myself that I got to a place where I made Christian pose with me for a thumbnail in such an emotional moment rather than prioritizing his mental health. I am horrified, so disappointed in myself, I can't even tell you. It is not okay, it is wrong on so many levels. He will not be in my content moving forward. I'm completely re-strategizing what to do for the future. And I have talked about it on YouTube twice and I would say the most in-depth thing that I've done is on the Dad Challenge podcast this morning. It's about an hour if you would like to watch. I will put the link here. I am turning off my DMs for today solely because you guys know I've always been open to constructive criticism, but I'm getting comments on my channel for eight years. I'm always open to constructive criticism. I, what I am not open to is people putting out my personal private information, sending that type of stuff is never, never okay. I'm not standing for it. It is absolutely terrible. I will take all the criticism, excuse me, in the world. And I'm so incredibly aware that I feel so bad. I have, haven't been able to sleep, have had anxiety. I'm so disappointed in myself and I am dealing with the situation personally and with my son and he's completely fine. He, he doesn't even know what like a thumbnail is. He, we had to talk about it after and he's completely fine, but I am absolutely horrified at myself, disappointed, disgusted, all the things that I'm sure you guys have already seen on the internet. This is, I am just so in shock that I let myself get to that level. I'm disappointed. Hopefully this is a huge wake up call for not only her, but other family channels alike. We always see the after product of a video or a thumbnail, but never the actual process of it getting done. We always hear about these young movie stars that grow up and they realize how messed up of a childhood that they had. But what about this new generation of child stars? The ones that actually live in this environment and are constantly having a camera shoved in their face in the comfort of their own home. I bet you anything in like 10 years from now, we're definitely gonna be hearing about the side effects of growing up in a YouTube family channel. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help my channel and I'll see you next time.